Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use other Steinberg or third-party sound libraries that you may own in Dorico, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. By default, Dorico will automatically load sounds from the included Halion Symphonic Orchestra and is configured to ensure your notated music will always be heard during playback. However, you may have purchased other sound libraries, either from Steinberg or another company, and would like to use those sounds in Dorico. Dorico supports VST3 virtual instruments and effects, and any that you have installed will be accessible from within Dorico. If you wish to use any VST2 instruments, then there are some additional steps that you must take before they will show up in Dorico. To help with this, I have prepared a separate tutorial that can be found later in this series of play mode videos and may be helpful to view now if you are wishing to use a VST2 sound library. For the purpose of this video, however, let's assume you have one or more VST3 libraries installed and that you haven't moved them from their default installation directory on your computer. I'm starting with a new empty project and we'll just add a few players to get us started. So let's add a horn, a piano, and how about a violin section? I'll click this second button to add a section player and choose a violin. And I'll add some notes quickly so that we have some music to play with. As I input the music, you'll notice that Dorico is auditioning the notes with an appropriate sound, which it has loaded from the default sound library that is included with the software. Incidentally, I can turn off note auditioning in the preferences dialog, which I can open using the key command control comma, and that's command comma on Mac, or under the Windows edit menu, or the Mac Dorico menu. And on the general page, at the very bottom in the play section, you can uncheck play notes during note input and selection. I'm going to keep that on for now, so let's just close the dialog. OK, let's route the horn to a different sound library. Switch to play mode and expand the horn player and instrument tracks where we can see that it is being routed to the first slot of the Halion Sonic SE VST instrument. Let's add a new VST instrument to the rack and here I'll select one of the options that is available to me. As I have Play by East West installed, I can choose to load it. You may need to press the Edit Instrument button to show the window. I'll select the patch that I would like Dorico to use when playing back the horn. And I can make any other settings here that I might like to make use of. For example, the VST instrument might have a reverb feature that you like to use. There is also a virtual keyboard that I can use to audition the sound to check it's the one I want. OK, we can close that window for now, and I'll press play quickly just to hear what our horn sounds like by default. Now let's change where the horn is being routed to by selecting our instance of play and ensuring we match the channel or slot number. When I press play, we can hear that the horn is using the newly selected sound. Now that we have our instance of a third-party VST instrument loaded, we can easily use it for other instruments. I can use this button to quickly open the VST instrument window for the selected track. From here, I can load a second instrument, and I'm going to add a violin patch, which is loaded into slot 2. In the track header for the violins, I can choose the Play VST Instrument and Channel or Slot 2. Press Play and hear the newly chosen violin sound. And I can continue to add sounds in this way, or indeed load a completely new VST instrument. For the piano, let's add Steinberg's full Halion Sonic player and choose one of the new Eagle piano sounds that is part of the Halion 6 library. Configure the track header to route to the correct VST and channel, and it's as simple as that. 
Dorico supports the use of VST instruments with key switches to swap between different articulations and playing techniques, for example, strings playing arco and pizzicato. These are managed by expression maps, which I shall be covering in the next video. Be sure to check out that video to see how to make the most of your sound libraries. Adding an external MIDI instrument to play back one or more tracks works in the same way as VST instruments. I have a Yamaha MX88 keyboard connected to my computer, so I can add a new MIDI instrument and choose the MX88. Then on that device, I select the patches that I'd like to use on each channel. Then select the MIDI instrument from the menu and ensure the channel number is set appropriately. By default, any chord symbols added to your score are silent and do not affect playback. However, you can set them to playback by routing the chords track here at the top of the play mode piano roll area to one of your VST or MIDI instruments. Expand the chords track and choose an existing VST instrument and slot number, or set up a new one in the way we've been doing, remembering to click the speaker icon to enable playback. Now the chords will sound as you play back, and also when you click on them in write or engrave mode. And if you have used a MIDI keyboard to enter the chord symbols, Dorico will use the exact voicing you played. Finally, it's worth mentioning that as soon as you start adding your own VST or MIDI instruments or rerouting tracks to different devices or slots, Dorico will intentionally stop automatically assigning sounds to newly created players and instruments. This is by design and prevents any of your changes being overwritten when modifying the configuration of your project's ensembles. You can always get back to what Dorico would have done automatically by opening the Play menu and choosing Assign Default Playback Template. Do be aware, however, that this will throw away any changes you have made, including the loading of VST instruments and any sound patches. If you've found this video helpful, it would mean the world to me if you would click the thumbs up button below and let me know you've liked it. And please subscribe to our Dorico channel right now to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.